I'm Zimmel Tips, and today I'm going to show you how to um, divide in Sony Vegas uh, side by side and top on bottom. Okay, um, so I'm going to put up Sony here. People who do a sort of say gaming on a computer, etc. Okay, um, and then they want to put that on YouTube. You might want to use this as comparison, uh, things like that. So I've got my two videos here. Okay, I'm using a, a low quality and a high quality. But both uh, 1080p, okay, that is 1920 by 1080. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag um, one of them down to here, and then in a new new video, I'm going to put that down at the bottom there. Now, what you want to do is try and make them the same size, otherwise, at the end of your video, you're going to end up with just half the screen. So, just shrink that down, okay? So, now we have both videos. You only see the top one though because it's overlapping the bottom, which is fine. So first off, I'm going to show you uh, side by side. So it's, um, all you have to do is you go to this button here, which is the event pan the crop button. Hit that, and then this window here will come up with the F. Okay, you can zoom out of that or zoom back in. Um, and then up here, okay, you have uh, the width and the height. That's just that needs to stay the same. You're not adjusting that at all. And then you got center, uh, you got X and Y. Now X, this is going to be the left. So I'm going to put this video to the left. So only half of the screen is going to be on the left sort of thing. So you'll only see this part, and that part will be gone. So what you need to do is you need to wipe this down to zero. Um, if you're not sure, sure why, move that to that way. And you see as as you move it over, it, it goes lower and lower and lower. All right. So that needs to be zero. Now that puts F there, that's the zero point, that's what they're saying. And this here needs to be 540. Okay, this is half of 1080p, okay, uh, and then that gives you your half there, okay. So now you've adjusted that, you, you, you get this effect here. So now you need to move where that's positioned, okay. So you now you need to go do here, track motion. Ensure that this is on the zero 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 here. Okay, you need to move this. Okay, to negative nine sixty to the place you want it. So you see, I've got the left half of the video. I need that on the left. All right. So up here, you're going to make that negative nine sixty, and this here needs to be zero as well. Nine sixty is half of nineteen twenty. Okay, because it's the position, it's of the width and not the height. So it's half of the height. Reason it's negative is because that is your zero point. So you're going negative halfway. And then that's that. So now you can see, well, you can't really see actually. But it's just, there, are, there is two halves there now. Okay. So now what we're going to do is you're going to go down to here. And you're going to do the same thing. But this time, you're going to the right. So you only want to keep this part and not this part. Okay. So you, we're going to do, again, what width and height, if you don't adjust them, okay, you just move this to 1920, which is double, which is your, your width, okay, because like I said, this is um your 960 point, so you need to add 960 on it, and you see as you move that way, it goes up, so it's 1920, and then this stays as 540, which is half your 1080, because again, half your, half your height, sorry. Okay, it's going to exit out, and now you can see there's no video here, which is where it should be. That's again because we need to change position with your track motion. All right, move it towards this way. Now you can see it. All right, this goes to 960, which is half your nine, 1920. Okay, because you're moving it at zero point, you're adding, you know, you're moving it 960 pixels. Then your Y needs to be zero. Okay, and then there you can see now they're side by side as I play them. There is a split line between the two. So that is how you do uh, your side by side. <clears throat> be wary though, if you add a picture, so if I add, um, if I add, if I add this, this is just a screenshot. Okay, if I add this to here, 
it's only going to come up there. So if you're adding new media, drag it to the bottom, then it will always be overlapped. So generally, screenshots and things like that, I'll put at the top, and then your, your, your pictures and things like that, menus, etc., are always over the top of the video. Okay, I'm going to exit out of this, and then I'm going to show you how to do side by side. I mean, top and bottom. So for top and bottom, again, import your media. So you got high and low. Drag them to the same position. Make them the same size. And now we need to crop them again to half. Okay, but it's slightly different this time because we go in the top and bottom, so it's not the same. Um, it's using the same principle, but the other way around. So whereas before, I'm going to move this to the top rather than the left. This is going to be half of 1920 instead of 1080p. Okay, which is 960, so that's spot on. And then this is going to be zero because you're moving it past the width. Okay, so again, this is your zero point. You're going negative. Like, this is your five fault point. You're going past that to zero because this is the zero point on the air. Okay, we'll take that. And as you can see, you get this effect again, and that's because you need to move it. So we use the track motion. We then move it to where we need it. So this is the top. This has got to go up the top there. All right. So it's actually zero on the X axis because you don't want to adjust that. You only want to adjust the Y axis, which is 540. Because that's half your 1080p because you're moving it up past the zero point. Okay. So now you can see you got the split line. You need to do the same for the bottom. We're going to go through the event and pan and crop. Uh, this one though, uh, this is going to this is going to be our down. So this is going to be the under part. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to adjust that to 1080p. And this one needs to be 960. So your full full um, height. And then only half your width. Okay. And then again, that's not in the right place, so we will use the track motion. Find out where we need it roughly. Work out from there. So it's got to be negative 540. And that's going to be zero. Then that's dead on. Okay, so if I play that. You can see you got the split line there, just too hard. What you might also want to do if you're thinking about rendering this, okay, you've got two soundtracks there you might, you might see, but you need to preferably choose to mute one of them, and then you get a much purer sound rather than two over there. Um, okay, uh, so yeah, that's it. If you're not looking for the division, okay, I'll just quickly show you that as well. If you're not after division, where you have one half of one thing and another half of something else, um, import your media. Okay, drag them to where you need them. I change the length. Now you don't need to touch the pan and crop. There's no need to pan or crop it. Okay, if you're just if you want to keep both of them. Same resolution, same everything. You just want them scaled down. You use this one here, the track motion. So this one here, you can move. Okay, but say you want that like that. And this one you want down there like that. Okay, you'll see you can only see half. So this is where now you use your width and height. <clears throat> so you want half of 1920, which is 960. You want half of 1080p, which is 540. And then you want to move it to your bottom corner, okay, which will be roughly half of this, which is 250 to 17, and then it'll be 5, no, 450 plus 30, 480. Like that, that half set like that. And then you want to do the same with the other one. Move that like that. Do that. 160, 540, 
get that into a rough position so you can work it out. So that will be 480 again, negative 480. And that one there will be uh, 250, 270. Now you have both windows side by side like that. Okay, so that's that's not popping them. That's keeping them the same same uh, width and that. Okay, so yeah, thank you very much. I've been Simple Tips. Goodbye.